is. Well, there it is. We have a one versus one game to be casted today on Tyrannus Stand is the map. And the players are five. Fito, not enough. Our yellow Night Elf player at the top left. And at the bottom right, we have SMD Cgen. I'm going to try to call him Cgen. Here's the green undead at the bottom right of the map. And we can see already that five feet, oh, not enough, which I agree with. That means he's referring to like uh, the one versus one ladder pull. You can only eat feet, oh, which is get rid of five maps or make sure that you don't find those maps when you find the game. And uh, yeah, I agree. Although I agree with that on four versus four as well. Blizzard changed the maps and I want better maps and I want to get rid of so many of them. Bring back the better maps so that way I don't want to have to veto everything. And you can only have one actually. And that either goes on the big ass one with the dragons or the horrible death nail map which I just cannot really stand. But anyway, five veto, not enough. Has got Warden. And this shall be interesting indeed. Warden can be pretty powerful versus Undead, especially if she gets carried away. Which, of course, we want to see. We want to see a powerful Warden. Yes, we do. And for Siege, it looks like the Death Knight. And the Wisp is here to scout. Just checking. Checking everything's in order. More ghouls coming out. No fiends just yet. No graveyard. Ancient of War up, already producing the first archer. He's going to uproot and we're going to get ready for some port on this Ancient of War as he creeps out this Renegade Wizard spot, which is a very good spot to do because it drops probably the best item that you can find on this map. Belongs to this Renegade Wizard right here, potentially. Ooh, archer. Careful. Pulling them. Didn't even need an arrow. They were that aggro. Oh, there's the lightning shield. Very good use of bringing the wisp next to the archer. Whilst next to the Ancient of War, this allows the Renegade Wizard to throw down the lightning shield, which allows five feet, oh, not enough, to do some damn good efficient creeping. He's got to be careful, though. He doesn't want to finish off those units and smartly pulls back the archer. He's very good with this Ancient of War, trying to keep him under control. The Ancient of War just loves to last shot things, and you don't want him doing that, because if he does, you won't get experience for it. Ooh. Scourgebone Chimes. Wisp being picked off here. A good detonate that denies experience for our Death Knight, who is now moving in with ghouls to harass. I'll be interested to see how that Scourgebone Chime plays out. If he goes bears, it could be an insanely imbalanced item. It has very good value if you are going bears as a night elf and a lot of night elves like to go bears so we'll see whether um five feto sells that or not Siegen moving in here with the goose looking to do some damage and he he has got some power here because oh five feto hasn't thrown down an expansion just yet so he's ex he hasn't exasperated all of his resources. He does cancel that. Leads it to the very last second. Archer here going to take so much damage when the ghouls get a bit of a surround there. <sighs> Down she goes. But a ghoul has been picked off and this warden has got a nice item to show for herself. It does look like Siegen's going to try to pull off surrounds here. Doesn't quite manage it. Having to pull back that ghoul to try and save it. Thus allowing the gap for the warden to split through. Another ghoul going to be picked off here. Warden is very effective against ghoul rushes. As long as she has enough time, whilst it's moon time, so it's night elf, night elf time, night time, and moon time, what's that all about? Night time, so he can keep soaking up these moon wells and consistently plough this warden who is now level 3 with more and more shadow strikes, level 2 shadow strikes. These are pretty much going to deal with a ghoul almost completely. It won't quite kill off a ghoul, but it will mo most certainly push him back. Oh, this Warden in a bit of trouble, but she's still fast and maneuverable. Not even with that. She hasn't even got boost of speed, but she's just a speedy hero. We've got to be careful. Real careful. But Siegen is running out of move, uh, units here, and these archers are building up, which are allowing a bit more support for this Warden to just dance around. 
And a couple of ghouls staying in the fight a little bit too long. Probably going to be given some experience right about now. Level 3 Warden. Look at that. I mean, the Death Knight is still at level 1. This is what Undead do a little bit. They do harass, and it looks like it doesn't really pay off. But all the while, they are basically trying to build up a base. But I was actually going to say he was teching, but he wasn't. He's really going for this. Siegent is very focused. A lot of skeletal minions being denied there. The Wisp detonating dispels all of those skeletal minions. And maybe another dispel might come in here just to wipe out a couple more skeletal minions. It's a little bit of experience, but it's still nice to have it. Nice. Wisp sitting here patiently. There we go. Another one used. A level 3 Warden. Halfway. Over halfway. And... Uh, now the Death Knight's almost halfway to level 2, so he's he's okay. He's not quite as uh, caught up as the Warden, but he's doing alright. Ghoul's just consistently plowing in. He must be somewhat in the belief that his opponent has either taken an expansion, or he can just consistently apply pressure so much to the point that he can just break 5 Feto down. And it looks like it's actually working, despite the fact that 5 Feto has got so much experience. He's still in a little bit of trouble, but these ghouls are probably overstepping their mark. They have got themselves into a great position to do damage to the Warden, but they are taking a lot of damage for it. And the Death Knight isn't looking too healthy either. This Warden picks up enough matter. She can start focusing the Death Knight instead of the ghouls, but the Warden is now in trouble. She wouldn't... Oh, nearly! Oh, she just about won't be able to escape, but then she might be able to escape, and then she goes down, but the Death Knight goes down. Ooh, that Shredder packed a punch. I don't think Siegen was ready for that. That's a real shame, because if he was able to keep that Death Knight alive, that would be really big. Because when your opponent doesn't have a hero, and you do, that is a lot of experience for you, and just general control. So that was very close. I don't think he was quite prepared. But these ghouls just consistently keep coming. Oh, both heroes being picked up at the tavern by the ghoul and the archer. The archer just about making it. I'm sure that Siegen is very tempted to finish this off, but he's probably a little bit more distracted with his ghouls, with what his ghouls are doing. Coming in here, trying to get surrounded in the warden. She has got blink, but can she cast it? She cannot, but she's only level three. Level one blink costs 50 mana. She's not even gonna be able to make it out. She's gonna die once again. Oh, Siegen now powering through. On level three himself now. This is really starting to pull off. I've got to give him some credit because I was about to, you know, not slag him off because he's obviously a pro player he's way better than me but I was questioning his um, motives here because a lot of undead players will harass and they'll harass quite heavily to the detriment of their own ghouls whilst teching up to say mass gargs but there is no tech there's double crypt so mass gargs might come later but <laughs> we can see that ghoul just chilling there ah oh, he's really doing well this harass it seems sketchy didn't it I mean come on you're watching me with this. Yeah, you're watching me with this. Oh, technically, you are. But you're watching this with me is the correct English grammar. Um, and you must believe, or at least been in the belief, that Five Feet I probably was able to pull this, um, push this off. But this has just got out of hand. That's at least one group of ghouls versus only a few archers. And this warden consistently almost getting surrounded here. And even when she's not getting surrounded, she's still taking damage from those ghouls while she's trying to escape surround. One ghoul, just too ballsy. Sorry, mate. Too ballsy. The rest of the ghouls abandoned him. He's like, hey, where did everyone go? Makes me feel like uh, some of my 4 versus 4 games. Oh, look at that. He's going in there. Throwing down a coil. He's going straight for the warden. The warden, not enough mana to blink out. Got to be careful. Picking up a, a couple of clarity pots. Death Knight pulling back. That Shadow Strike actually is really effective. Look at his health. Down to 50 health after just that one shadow strike. Warden can definitely, definitely turn a game around, which is what we would like to see, surely. It can't be over just yet, can it? Siegen is pretty much wiped out almost everything that Five Feto has. Oh my goodness, a coil and a goal picking off the Warden at the last moment there. She's just slightly getting blocked there. The path in just slightly blocked. Oh my goodness, this is crazy! Death Knight still healthy, almost looks like the archers are trying to come in here to get a Death Knight kill which they will never be able to achieve because the armor allows that Death Knight to pretty much take almost no damage from those archers. Just two moon wells and a tree of life! What is going on? Where's the altar? 
Oh, I guess you don't need an altar. I've, I was in the belief that you did need an altar. Maybe for level 2, but um, for level 1, no, just the Tree of Life. One moon well. Another moon well on the base, though, but one full running, operating moon well. Warden picking up the rest of the juice coming in here for one final Shadow Strike. We'll be able to kill that Death Knight if she gets one hit. No, she's going to do it anyway. She's got it. She secured the kill. Level 4, picking up the circle of Nobility. She dropped it so she could get as much mana back from that moon well as possible. Ghouls desperately trying to get us around. Once again, we find ourselves in a situation where a hero has died. Is Siegen going to pull back his hero from the Altar of Darkness? Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure. He's pumping out more ghouls. He's not even too worried. He'll probably want to pick up a hero from the tavern by the looks of it. And... It does give five feet a little bit of time to survive, but even then, not be able to do much damage while she's surviving. This is crazy! This is just... Most Night Elf players would have left by now. Both these archers, no health, and they're about to go down any second now. The ghouls don't even care. There we go, finally picking off the archer, but they're so desperate just to bring down that warden. Death Knight coming in here. He hasn't got enough mana, though, because he has been picked up from the tavern, so he can't throw down a coil to finish off the warden. And the warden just, you know, very cheekily hitting and running. And, oh, trying to bring down the Death Knight again. She might be able to pull it off, because Shadow Strike is very strong. There is a Moonwell here. If she can pick up that juice, maybe drop the Circle of Nobility again. No, she doesn't go straight for the Moonwell juice. She's just going to probably try to do a hit and every now and then try to hit that Death Knight when she can. She's going to get the Ghoul, run out. She's still got enough space and maneuverability. More Moonwells coming down. It's just a solo Warden. Trying to pick up any Moonwell juice she can. She's trying to get up to 75 mana so she can throw down another Shadow Strike, which is about to go off just about now. She might be able to pull off another kill. The Ghoul's desperately trying to finish her off. Oh, Death Knight trying to back up into his Ghoul's. Trying to get a Warden kill. She's just running away. Is Death Knight going to go down? He does. Shadow Strike finishes him off. Warden now pulling back. Trying to get any other Moonwell juice. Picking up the Circle of Nobility after dropping it again. This is crazy play. Crazy. And this level 4 Warden, I think it's only 10 mana for Blink now. But it's still got like a 10 second cooldown. Ghoul's trying to siege the base. And in Sejin's mind, he's like, why has Five Feet I not left yet? Why is he still in this game? I'll tell you why. Because he's got a level 5 Warden who's still balling. She's going for it. And a level 3 Death Knight looks kind of pathetic now compared to a level 5 Warden. Got to be careful. Just another Shadow Strike would definitely put him in a lot of trouble. Two Shadow Strikes would kill him. Although this is what Sejin needed to do. This really puts the threat on. Going straight for that Tree of Life. The source of all energy, you know, all money, resources, moon wells, moon well juice. Oh, is the warden going to finish him off? No, not quite. Backing off there with the blink, dropping the circle of nobility again, picking it up. Death Knight goes down. Shadow Strike just does that much damage. Warden should have enough time just to blink away. Surviving with 33 health. These ghouls. Looking somewhat lost now, aimlessly going for the moon wells, forgetting the tree of life. I think they should go back on it, just consistently go for the tree of life. Try to hit the wisps whenever possible. Warden just sitting back, just trying to keep away from the ghouls. Picking up a goblin shredder and a zeppelin, going to come back in here. The zeppelin is going to allow her, alongside the um, freaking blink micro, to really avoid ghoul focus here. And the Shredder, if microed correctly, will be able to do a lot of damage to these ghouls. Wow. Look at that. See, picking up these units, dropping them, getting a cheeky hit. Because as soon as you drop them down, they automatically hit. So if you do that with a Shredder, which does 34 to 61 damage. So it's going to do like 50 hit, 50 damage per hit. He's going to whack quite a punch. You drop him, he gets his hit. You pick him up, you drop him, and he's doing 50 damage each time. So with quick micro, this is crazy. Five feet oh, is my hero. I love micro. I love it so much. This is all he's been working with. It's just pure micro. He's had no other, nothing else to work with here. No sort of tier two or any sort of strategy in that mind. This is his strategy, is micro, pure micro. Working alongside with the Goblin Zeppelin. I really doubt, and I can't even come back to... Oh, he's just picking up the warden at the last split second there. Look at this. This is crazy. I want to look at Siegen's base, but I don't even have a moment to look at it because you've got to watch this all the way through. Tree of Life being focused here. Death Knight in a healthy position. He can definitely take 
Another, oh, there are two potential Shadow Strikes, so now they're going to go down on that Death Knight. Warden really pushing her luck. In a lot of trouble. She just turned around and hit it, but now he's focusing back again on the Tree of Life, going for the Warden. Warden being picked up by the Sapling. Tree of Life is going to go down. This is Warden. Oh, it's crazy. Another Angel of War being picked up, but the Tree of Life is actually going to survive because enough Wisps came out whilst the Ghouls were freaking being picked off and being distracted by the Warden, trying to go on the Warden again while she's so low health. Warden being picked up again by the Sepulchre is just so crazy. What on earth is this? CJ, can I just look back at your base? He has actually got Tier 2 now. I don't even have a moment. That is how long it took me to just look back very quickly. Warden coming in here again with the Zeppelin, trying to get a drop off. Shredder still got half his health, but he's going to take a good chunk of damage here from the Ghouls there. Got to be a little bit more careful, but fantastic play otherwise by five feet. Uh, the last Moonwell, Warden just running around. More Moonwells being put, just pretty much put wherever they can be, all the way across the map, just to keep them away from these Ghouls. It almost looks like Siegem is going to take this base. The Zeppelin's still doing a fantastic job, and the Zeppelin can be repaired. So, if... Five feet, I can find enough time to maybe pick up the Wisp, take the sep uh, the Shredder away when he absolutely must be rescued, and he's just so close to going out, maybe we might want to repair him. Take the time to repair him, because he's pretty powerful. He's very effective. Get that. There you go. There's the repair. He's going off on that Shredder. Does it look like Warden's coming in here trying to pick off the freaking Death Knight, but not quite going to get it. The Shadow Strike is going to do a lot of damage. Warden's going to pick up another Moonwell Juice there. Death Knight very close. He hasn't got another coil, and he goes down. Level 6 Warden now. Oh, my goodness. Siegen must be freaking raging right about now. He's got tier 2, that's something going for him. And he has still got his gold mine that is unthreatened. But so does 5 feet so. Not quite unthreatened, but the way he's playing at the moment, it may as well be unthreatened because pretty soon he's going to be pushing Siegen back. This is all he's got. He's got like a quarter health level 6 warden and a, a fifth health shredder versus an army of ghouls. But I'm going to put my bets on this Warden. Unless the Death Knight comes in and he's going to seal the deal finally on this Shredder. Oh, that Shredder got a lot of kills. If this was like StarCraft where you could actually see how many kills a unit got, that'd be really good. You can see I'm losing my voice here because it's just so damn good. A game that's so good it kills your voice. That's the slogan. <clears throat> Give me a moment. Right, Warden coming in here. She is able to blink out, but she's going to use the Zeppelin. Does look like Avatar of Vengeance was picked up. It's the level 6. It's the ultimate of the Warden, so it wasn't a level 3 blink. Of no doubt a level 3 Shadow Strike, though. And, wow, that was a damn good choice. You know why? Because these Spirits of Vengeance are invulnerable units. And um, you can get 6 of them per Avatar of Vengeance, which you can only have one Avatar of Vengeance, just to be realistic about it. And um, they last for a fair while, and they spawn. The Avatar of Vengeance is a bit like a necromancer. Whenever there's a corpse, he can spawn one of these Spirit of Vengeances to fight for the Night Elf. Ah, brilliant. And these ghouls die so easily, so they're just providing more corpses. Sejin doesn't even know what to do right now. He's just getting really toyed with... Oh, my goodness! Five feet oh. What did you do? You pushed your luck just a little too far. It's almost like Sejin was toying with him as well. He was almost looked like he was playing a little bit complacent. And the warden came out. She stepped out of that, out of that um, sapling for just a little bit too long. Which in a game like this is about one second and a half. And the death knight threw down the coil and sealed the deal. But the warden has been picked up. Because Five Feet I pretty much hasn't spent his money on anything else other than Moonwells. So it looks like he's had just about enough cash, which has got to be quite a lot, to pick up a level 6 Warden again. Avatar of Vengeance doing a fantastic job of keeping Five Feet in the game. Scourge, Bone Chimes, might well have been a really good item. Because I wonder how this game would have gone if that Warden didn't have it. I'm not saying it's a great item for the Warden, but in a game like this, where she's pretty much the only thing running around, and she's got melee hits, and sh she's so desperate just to get any scrap of health back, that's a, that's a game-breaking item. Siegen 
It almost feels like these ghouls are tanks. It's like a human player who's just consistently trying to destroy the buildings and ignore the heroes to some degree. Well, he's not ignoring it. He's trying to go for the warden whenever possible, but the five feet is not making it easy. And he actually has to back off with this death knight because one more shadow strike will actually kill the death knight. So despite the fact that this warden is so low health and he's still got an army here, he can't really get too cocky or too close. Garg's coming in here. Now we're seeing the Garg's from the undead. It's been a long time. But the Garg's going heavily. But he's not going to be able to kill the Zeppelin before he gets killed himself. Because the Shadow Strike is going to seal the deal on this kill. Boom. There we go. Warden's still kicking it. She's 250 health. Death Knight. 20 more mana and he'll be able to throw down one more Death Coil. And that could be the Game Breaker. But... Shadow Strike now going to guarantee a kill on this Death Knight. Even with level 2, maybe even level 3 Unholy Aura. I don't think he's going to survive that. Yes, the Warden just absolutely making sure that Death Knight goes down. Throwing down a blink. Even though he died, 5 feet oh is like, I am not letting you get back. And he's actually checking the tavern here to see if there's any ghouls nearby to pick up the Death Knight again. Which is a really smart move because this Warden can pick off ghouls very easily. And... If you kill that ghoul, it could be a while before Siegen could get that hero back. And every second counts. It wouldn't be that long because the Gargs can fly. And they're fast. And this Warden is just being fed experience at this point. Because Gargoyles and Ghouls are not particularly powerful units in their own right. When they're massed, they're very dangerous. But in small numbers, they are just booed for this Warden. And she is really going to town. We could actually finally see a Night Elf base. This is the most I've seen so far for 5 feet. And it's over 20 minutes into this game. Craziness. Love that circle of nobility play. Just consistently dropping it. Getting every scrap of Moonwell juice. Really, really scraping the barrel there. But so well done. You have to in a game that is as close as this. Gargs now looking to do some harass. Tree of Life survived to the end. Well done. He managed to get all of the gold mined despite everything that's happened this game. And it does look like Siegen is in the same position. And now the players are now coming to um, realization of just how crazy this game has been. Warden is now coming back. Moonwells are really coming through for this Warden because this is it. When you get a really powerful hero like a Warden, a Night Elf really actually um, can carry the game with just Moonwells alone. And you're seeing this. You are witnessing the power of just a solo hero as Night Elf alongside a couple of Moonwells. You don't need units. And they say undead heroes are strong. Night Elf heroes, do not underestimate them. Warden is potentially one of the best heroes if not the best hero in the game if she gets powerful and this is a warden that has definitely got powerful craziness Siegen is actually almost in a spot of denial here his large armies his legions of units now reduced to just a handful of ghouls and he's actually having to unsummon some buildings just to get some petty cash back. This warden. Wow. Just looking for a fight now. All the time defending. Defense of the ancients. That's what this should bloody well be called. Damn. These ancients of war don't even do anything. They're just there for show. We've got to that point now where five feet I can show off. This Warden, every moment that Death Knight comes by, he's going to eat a Shadow Strike. He actually has to sit in the Blight alongside Unholy Aura and he's still going to take damage from that Shadow Strike, which is quite rightfully so. But you've got to remember that Blight actually heals up your hero. Well, heals up anything, like for about four times the amount of normal regeneration. Warden, though, in a little bit of trouble, there is potentially another Shadow um, Death Coil here. Give another 10 seconds or so. We could see another death coil. And that warden might possibly go down. And I really don't think Five Feet so wants to give it up just yet. The death knight is really getting close. He's trying to throw down a coil. You can see he's fighting past his own units and getting cut off. 
He actually, in frustration, throws down the coil, saving his gargi. He's like, oh, you have the coil instead. I didn't want to coil the freaking warden anyway. That could have been it. That coil might have been enough to seal the deal and get the kill. And I'm going to be saying that all the time. This Tree of Life has actually made his way to an expansion. But the question is, is does Five Feto even need this expansion? Say, for example, he didn't even need that. He should be able to fend this off, I would say. Shadow Strike is going to kind of do it. And yes. Wow. Fantastic play by both players. But definitely amazing micro and showmanship from Five Feto. My new hero. Wow. Just, wow. I hate saying that phrase, and I'd say it ironically most of the time, taking the piss. But have you ever noticed how sometimes when you say something ironically, you say it to take the mick out of it, but you end up saying it so much that you actually start saying it as part of your normal phrasing. So when you first began taking the mick out of it, it's actually become part of you. And that's what I've got to say. Wow, just wow. Damn. Okay, right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Like it. I'll appreciate that. That will go a long way. So hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see some more, then you can always subscribe and uh, take care. I think we all need a breather after that game. Woo!